every time I say cheeseburger, I would think cheeseburger, like a little chickadee. You know when you want a cheeseburger, but you don't want a cheeseburger? The idea of the cheeseburger, awesome. The idea of the cheeseburger and the fries, and whew, <laughs> that feeling afterward, no thanks. As good. People have cheeseburger salad bowl. Hits all the notes. If you want to be extra naughty, put a little bacon in there, and then you got a cheeseburger bacon bowl. Let's get to it. Let's get some red onion pickling, because that'll be super delicious. It takes the bite out of the onion. We'll just use half of a red onion, sliced into half moons. Stick it in a bowl. Two tablespoons of white vinegar. You can use apple cider, whatever you want. A healthy pinch of salt. And then we're just gonna get our hands in there and massage it. They're going to feel really crispy to start. And the more you do it, the softer they're gonna get. But doing my tears, the onions are all massaged up and they'll only get better as they sit while we make the rest of the recipe. So we can set these bad boys aside. This is a burger, but in a bowl. So we do need sauce, dressing, all the classic ingredients, two cloves of garlic peeled. I'm gonna microplane them into a little bowl. If you don't want to use fresh garlic, I want the bite of fresh garlic but you can use powdered garlic if you have it. This is gonna be garlicky. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna add some onion powder, onion flakes, some minced onion, a quarter teaspoon of paprika. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I don't really feel like dirtying up a measuring spoon for this. Four tablespoons of mayo. We'll start with a tablespoon of ketchup. Shake the mustard. I don't want that weird mustard water. An ungenerous tablespoon of mustard, a tablespoon of pickle juice, quarter teaspoon of salt. Mix it all up. Give it a little taste. The garlic makes it spicy in like the best way. Adjust it to your liking. This isn't a hard and fast sauce at all. You can set that bad boy aside until we need it. The last little bit of stuff to prep before we cook the ground beef and assemble everything. A head of iceberg lettuce. We're gonna create shreddice. Iceberg is such a great lettuce, man. So underrated. Chopped lettuce, place it in a bowl. Sharp cheddar cheese, but any kind of cheese that floats your boat is gonna be delicious. Gonna grate this guy. And that last little bit of cheese is always for the cook, right? the best bit. Just put the cheese in a container. One with a lid is super helpful, especially if you don't think you're gonna use all this cheese on your cheeseburger bowls. And of course, what is a burger without tomatoes? So we're gonna chop up a couple tomatoes. I'm gonna take my ground beef. <laughs> what? Meat! I don't hate meat, just not something I eat a lot of very often, <laughs> but today we're going for it. Another really good option is the Beyond Beef if you can grab it on sale, or ground turkey, ground bison, whatever floats your boat, that's totally gonna work. So in our non-stick skillet, I'm gonna take our meat, flatten this out into a pretty even layer. If you wanna make burger patties, go for it. I don't want to. It looks a little bit brown because it's oxidized sitting in a butcher's case because I didn't buy it vacuum sealed. I'm going to sprinkle it with a generous amount of salt on one side. I cooked the beef on high until it started to sizzle. I turned it down to medium, flipped it, and then finished cooking until it registered 160 Fahrenheit for food safety. We have everything ready to put together into our little cheeseburger bowl. What is it, Power Rangers? Let's assemble! <laughs> what do they do, like a ring or something? <laughs> Dudes, we did it. We made it. Next to no cooking. Awesome sauce. High five. Let's have a little tasty taste, huh? A little cheese, because it is a cheeseburger salad bowl. This hits, my dudes. Mm. <laughs> Nailing that cheeseburger. It's so good. I'm excited about this one. It's delicious. Bye, guys. My cheese grater is like 20 years old. My Kia. <laughs> 
it still works fabulously and that thing has been like everywhere. The sharp side up is always helpful. 